Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Young. Welcome to BrianYoung.com. So today, what we're gonna cover for the topic is like how a 24 years old girl from Belgium travel a year in Australia for free. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so curious about how to make it for free. Am I right? <laughs> Just introduce yourself first. Oh. All right, so um, my name is Dasha and basically I was born in Russia and then when I was six years old my parents decided to move to Belgium. So here I am spending my whole, um, you know, school and high school and university in Belgium and then decided to have a break from that and go to Australia without any like savings like particularly um, no, okay. yeah and I just um, I just had some savings for uh, you know like to pay my visa and to pay the flight obviously just one way actually um, and then yeah I decided to come to Australia because the, the visa was really easy to get yeah. so what do you do in Austria so once I arrived um, actually even before that I um, I, I, I look for a family there, for a host family and uh, being a au pair is that you're living with a family okay. so you're not paying for the rent and you're not paying for the food but in exchange you're taking care of the kids and that's how I, I, I travel around Australia but not like not spending any one penny at all because I was, um, I was saving money from that from that job, which was... If let's favorite. say um, for Malaysian people or if let's say for me, I want to visit your country, uh, Belgium. I mean, which place or what kind of food I shouldn't miss in Belgium? Belgium. Yeah. Uh, so obviously in Belgium, we've got a lot of beers um, and really different beers, really like... Um, I don't know, hundreds, maybe thousands of different Whoa. Yeah, really, uh, really different beers. And then we've got a lot of chocolate, chocolate, oh, which is hello. awesome. Yeah, awesome in Belgium. We have, um, we, we've got this amazing waffles with chocolate on it, and it's like just delicious. So okay. you really, if you go to Belgium, like this is really something that you have to try because, you, because like it's just. You know, like it's Belgium. Or it's French fries, which is like something that we eat a lot and that what? we really Why enjoy. sounds like uh, in Amsterdam because they also famous like French fries. Yeah, like it's, it's something really like even in France it's gonna be like really um really famous and really like people are really li like it. Okay, what thousand of uh, different kind of beer. Yeah, we've got uh, in my university town we have we have like this um once a year we have this like really big big event when for uh, I think it was, it's, it's like for 15 days when you can like have uh, you, you can enjoy really like different um, different kind of beers and you have like uh, light ones, fruity ones, really dark ones like it's really um, to, to everyone can, can find something that but, 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 really is like it, what, is, it, is it possible for us to join this uh, event or festival? Yeah, like I, I, yeah, 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 definitely. It's it's open for everyone. Like usually, students are there because we are on campus already. But I guess that it's open. Yeah, everyone can can go there. Oh, right. Yeah, we Enjoy like, we like yeah, student. definitely. We like student. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm a student as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, what, what is your favorite? Okay, favorite. Like favorite. my favorite one because I'm a girl and like every girl loves like a fruity, fruity kind of beer and, and even wine. I would say uh, la crique. La which is Crick. Yeah, Crick. <laughs> which is uh, based on um, the principal ingredient is the cherry. And so it's a really, really pretty beer. But that's more for girls, I, I would say. Okay. And so, can you tell me a bit like what about the culture between Malaysia uh, uh, with uh, Belgium? Yeah, definitely. Like, my first, um, the first first time that I came uh, here in Malaysia, I really felt that different um, people are really um, not aware how the environment is really important. Mm -hmm. 
and they're tossing and they're, there were like garbage everywhere and, and you can't really find like garbage beans and like it's just people are just tossing and, and, and throw everywhere they're like uh, the stuff, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, okay. and so I was like really shocked when I arrived okay. here because like this is something yeah. that, that it's really important for me. And we, we, we've got clean streets and we have a lot of garbage bins everywhere so you can easily drop your things and, um, and, and, and we're separating waste and so you can recycling and you can recycle and and I think it's, it's, it's really, really important because we have to think about the environment and we have to think about our planet. And um, so that's what, that, that something that really shocked me when I arrived here because you can find all those beautiful places, nature and, and, and grass and trees. And then when you really look, you, you see like garbage everywhere and like plastic bottles and, and, and plastic bags and you know, like it's really... Everywhere, right? It's really sad because it's beautiful and at the same time it's not because of that. So I really I really hope that little by little people are going to realize that and um, and do something. Okay, what I mean is like, uh, do you, in Belgium that they have uh, how many languages do you have in Belgium? That's yeah, that's a that's a good question actually because we we are such a small country but at the end actually we have three uh, official languages, which is French, Dutch, and German. We have this little community of German, but it's still a, 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 an official language. And we are learning, um, we are, yeah, we are learning uh, Dutch at school, which is compulsory, uh, and French in, in, in Dutch uh, community, obviously. And so, yeah, we are. I wouldn't say that I speak perfectly Dutch. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't absolutely. Like definitely not saying that, uh, but so French French is my language. I learned a little bit of Dutch, and because I was born in Russian, uh, in Russia, sorry, I speak Russian with wow. uh, with my parents. Yeah. So so talented, you know. <laughs> you have to learn, you know. <laughs> okay, how about we, we have some fun? We ex we exchange some language. You teach yeah. me you teach me some French. I teach you some Mandarin. Okay, yeah, definitely, let's do that. I'm gonna be, yeah, okay. No, we go for the basic one, okay, really basic. Like, every time I like to ask people like, Hi, how are you, my friends? In, in, in French, in French. In French would be, um, so, hi, how are you, my friends? Um, my friend. In, oh, my friend, how are you, okay. Yeah, in French it would be, Bonjour, comment vas-tu aujourd'hui? <laughs> slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah. Bonjour. 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 So that's me. That means hello or good morning or whatever. Um, comment vas-tu? Comment? Comment? Vas-tu? Vas-tu? Yeah, that's how are you? Oh, yeah. comment vas-tu? Right. It's okay. how are you? That's pretty oh, good that's actually. Good. <laughs> okay, I can teach you some. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, uh, 朋友,你好吗? 朋友,你好吗? It's great. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> good. Good. It's really good. Good. It's good. Okay, what, uh, what about like, um, I think it's quite common was thank you. Thank you. Yeah. In French. Merci. Oh, merci. 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 <laughs> Almost there. Am I right? Do you know how to how to how do you speak in Mandarin? No. Um. Si si. Si si. Si si. Si si. Si si. Si si. Yes, almost. Yes, yes. Correct, correct. It's good. It's good. Si si. Si si. Not sexy, okay? I don't say that. Si si. I just know. I just know how. How about how to say I love you? I love you. Uh, so in French it's je t'aime. Je tu je tu t'aime. Tu t'aime. Je t'aime. Tu t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. So you say follow me. Wo ai ni. Wo Say that again. Wo ai ni. Wo ai ni. Wo ai ni. Ah. Wo ai ni. Is that correct? You, you, you try Cantonese, Cantonese. Mongoling. Mongoling. 
Okay, okay. Actually, it's really good. Let's keep it. Yeah, let's start with Chinese. It's very good. It's very good. Okay. Uh, and, and also, no, this one I will refer for myself. And also because of the uh, we are Malaysian here, so Chinese New Year is coming soon. So we would like to um, make some wishes for everyone and say, Gong Xi Fa Chai and Happy New Year. You know, let's say, Gong Xi Fa Chai. Gong Xi Fa Chai? And like this. Like this. <laughs> and, oh, like this? Like this. Okay. Gong. <laughs> Gong Xi Fa Chai and Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.